So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Apex Wireless Controller by Fly Digi. Now this works with Android or iOS, smart TVs, TV boxes, and on PCs with Windows 7 or above. So I'll definitely be testing this on Steam. Now just keep in mind, to get this controller to work with most games, you're gonna wanna download the Fly Digi app from the App Store or on Google Play. And this is currently $53.99 on Amazon, but I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. This is Bluetooth 4.0 or wireless 2.4 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, pretty nice presentation here. User manual, which we'll probably have to check out in case we have any issues connecting. Although I've used other Fly Digi products, so I don't think it'll be too big of an issue. Okay, so it looks like we've got a USB extension. It has a flat micro USB charging cable. Kind of wishing it was USB-C, but that's okay. And then we've got this really large USB adapter. This is what they consider Fly Digi U-Tool. And then you have your USB 2.4 gigahertz wireless receiver. Wow, this controller is very nice. Okay, before we get started here, let's see if you notice any similarities in these two controllers. I mean, I don't know if you can get much closer to being twins. I mean, this is pretty much an Xbox One controller clone. As you've got textured rubber grips on the back. You're definitely not gonna have any problems with this slipping out of your hands. Okay, build quality, yeah, this feels just as good as an Xbox One controller. The clamp for the phone is pretty sturdy as well. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour of the buttons because we definitely have some extra ones. In the middle, you've got select and start. Then you have two extra buttons to the right, which is C and Z. And then your typical Xbox One layout, X, Y, and A and B. Then of course, right and left joysticks, pretty much the same as an Xbox One controller. And then you get a real shiny D-pad. And then it's got some indicator lights right next to that for Bluetooth, Android, X input mode, and then battery. Also right in the center, you can see it lights up once you power it on. And then along the top is where your micro USB charging port is, your right and left shoulder buttons, and then your right and left trigger buttons. Again, pretty much identical to the Xbox One controller. And then once you look to the back, things get a little bit more interesting. You've got right and left adjustment buttons to adjust the right and left trigger buttons. On the inside of each grip are additional buttons. You've got M1, M3, M2, and M4. And then right in the center is your power off, energy saving, and power on. And then right there on the top in the center is your detachable stand. At the bottom is pair, home, and back buttons. And then you have those nice rubber grips on each side. So once you have the Fly Digi app downloaded to your phone, it's a really simple process to connect this. Once you open the app, you just click on connect, scroll down to find Apex controller. So that's pretty much it as far as connecting. So at first when testing this out on PUBG Mobile, I was having some issues and then I realized there was an update. So after installing that and making a few tweaks to the button mapping software, I was off and running. Let me tell you that once I got the buttons dialed in, I was amazed at how good this controller feels and works. The joysticks feel really good and maybe a little more grippy than on my Xbox One controller. And the sensitivity seems just about right. I also tested this controller on a couple other games like Horizon Chase and Call of Duty Mobile to see how it did. And again, once making a couple adjustments to the button mapping, it performed really well. So if you've seen some of my other videos, one of my favorite controllers for mobile gaming is the iPega 9083S, which is still one of my 
my favorites. And I really like it that you don't have to do any button mapping for PUBG Mobile. But let me tell you, that controller doesn't feel as good as this one. Just think of an Xbox One controller, but grippier. I also tested this controller on Steam with Rocket League, which is a game I've probably played more in the last two years than any other game. So when I use a new controller, I notice right away if there's something different or bad. And I know it's going to be hard to believe, but I actually like this controller over my Xbox One controller, mainly because the rubber grips on the back and even the joystick seem to have a little bit more grip. But keep in mind, I don't have the Xbox One controller, which has the rubber grips on the back either. Now one downside is you don't have rumble or vibration like you would have on the Xbox One controller, but to me that's not a big deal. I also try this controller on Xbox game streaming to see if it would work with that, and surprisingly it does. Well at least on Destiny 2, I didn't have time to test it on others. So I'm not saying this controller is perfect, I did have an issue with it reconnecting to my phone but then realized there was another update. So if you have any issues when first getting this, keep in mind there may be a couple updates you may need to install. I also tried to play just the game instead of going through the Flydigi app, and they sort of worked, but not completely. So I would definitely recommend opening the game through the Flydigi app so that everything works correctly. So my first impressions of this Flydigi Apex controller is yeah, this is a really good one. I don't think I've ever preferred another controller over an Xbox One controller until now that is, which really says something about the quality of this controller. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.